fellow Sudokans, and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Friday the 19th of May 2023. I'm home for lunch. In fact, I've just stuffed myself full of food, and I really wish I hadn't, because I'm really bloated now. <laughs> Yuck. Not a good idea, I think. Um, I'm really over full at the moment. Uh, and, but let's hope I can uh, play this game of Sudoku before I have to leave again go out, but I'm home for lunch. Uh, what's going on in the news? I believe that uh, the city of Tampa has cancelled its gay pride parade um, because, uh, if I understand it correctly, they are afraid that uh, there could be drag queens. And if drag queens are seen by children, it's it breaks the law. It's against the law. Come on, fight back. Don't allow this nonsense to continue. America is being... America's fascists are taking over, particularly in Florida. Uh, it's time to fight back. Don't just allow this and just say, okay, let's cancel it. No, why don't you do the opposite? In Tam if you're in Tampa and organizing this kind of thing, why don't you why don't you organize the fact that why don't you get a, a huge gay parade together and get every single one of you to go in drag? <laughs> they couldn't arrest all of you, could they? It's time to fight back. Don't just accept this stuff. Um, you know. Being gay is more acceptable now than it's ever been, uh, even amongst like crazy Republicans. So just don't just sit back and allow your rights to be trampled on. Fight for them. Remember Stonewall, you know, from New York, right? Man, come on, get with it. Get with the program. <laughs> All right. Uh, enough ranting about Florida it's an, and its insanity. It doesn't need me to rant. It needs people in Florida to rant. So I'll get on with the game of Sudoku. I can see a couple of things. This is, of course, the New York Times hard level game. So we see nines blocking across the top row here like this, which will give me a nine here. And uh, nine blocks this square here. So that nine blocks those two squares. So we'll get ourselves a nine in that square as well. Um, we've got a one across here and one up there. So we'll also get ourselves one in that square. Um, anything else looking good? Uh, well, we have five blocking here, so I don't know if it means anything, but five blocks here, so we will have to have two and six up here, right? And yes, it does mean something. Oh, no, it doesn't. We've got a two. What am I talking about? <laughs> Excuse me. It's not two and... Huh? Oh, okay. <sighs> Excuse me. It's too much food. Two blocking down here, two blocking up here. There's the two. And this is going to be five and six, right? Let me just double check on that. Okay, yeah, five and six. So that's five and six. Across here is... Four and eight, which will put fours up there. Oh, four blocking up here. Let's do the four immediately. I'm going to put the eight in. It's going to be one of those afternoons, I think. We have one across here and one across here and one down here. And there's one.
Hmm. I'm just looking at the twos, but we end up with twos in uh, these squares here. Uh, so we've got two and four down here and two and four across here. So we have a pair of two and four in those squares. Now, uh, what else? We've got fives down here. So fives and fives. Hmm. Three. Hmm. Uh, well, it means two and four are, are down here. Of course, I've got blocking two here. Two and four are down there. Anything else uh, I can spot? Uh, no, I've got nines in these squares. Oh, look, there's a seven up here and a seven across there. So there's a seven we can get. And also, um, Ah, why can't I work out this middle block here? <laughs> hmm. Just can't get it. I know sixes and sevens. Okay, one's over here, five's on this side. I mean, look at these columns. Five's over here, one's over here. How about the twos? No, twos are in those squares. Hmm. 
Uh, so yeah, that one. Yeah, fives are there. Sixes have to be somewhere here. Sevens are there. No, I don't think there's enough information. I don't think I can get like a single there. I was hoping to, but I don't think there is. In this block up here, I've got ones in those squares. I've got sixes in these squares. Ones and sixes. Um, I've got fours up here. Uh, seven and something along here. Seven and two. Twos are there. Sevens are there. Hmm. Okay, for today's game, I'm going to play with candidates so let's put in the two and the four down here like so let's put the fives here like that let's put the fives in those squares let's put the threes here and let's put the ones there and there and up here And here, there, pair of threes there, pair of threes here. Ah, why have I got four there? I must have hit the wrong number. That should be uh, sevens in those squares, sorry. Um, what was I? What am I doing? Four up here, sorry. Four somewhere down there.
is five six. Seven in those squares. Uh, eight blocks across here. Oh, eight is somewhere across here, I should say, and eight will appear in these squares here. I forgot to put in the six, six blocks up here, doesn't it? So, and six blocks up here. So we get sixes in those squares there. Um, have I got everything? Let's have a quick check. Well, I certainly don't need a two in that square, do I? Uh, so it looks like I've got everything. Um, let's uh, finish off the candidates. I'll put in the easy ones first, which uh, there's, a, there's a nine to go in here. And uh, along here, what are we looking for? Uh, fives, do we know anything about fives? Don't think we do. Seven blocks here. I think that should be everything there. Back in this direction, two blocks. Oh, we've got two already. Three blocks down here and three across here. So threes in those squares. Four blocking. Oh, four we've got already. Fives haven't got. So fives like this. Seven across the bottom here. Uh, eight across here. And nine we have already. How many people are on this already already have, don't need? Um <clears throat> Uh, okay, let's just go up then. So one, two, we don't have three in this block yet. Three's block across here. Um, I don't have any other things to remember. I think three goes there. Four is in the corner squares, right? Four blocking down like this. So that's a single eight then. I, you know, this middle block was bugging me from the beginning. I figured there was something that I had a hunch that there was something there and I couldn't quite see it. And now, because it's, it's so empty, it's just too much to remember for me. A poor little brain like mine. So we will get ourselves an eight up there, and we'll have a three in that square. And a six just there with a six up there and a five there. And uh, that's got to be four or five. So we've got five blocking up here, so that will be the 
five and this will be the four and we'll get rid of candidate four down there. And uh, let's uh, come back and see about this eight we've got to remove or rather we can place a digit one there, can't we? And we can remove digit one from those squares. We have three here already, so I've got to remove these candidate threes. Um, okay, if this is six, seven, that's got to be six, seven. I don't know what it is at, uh, just yet though. So, uh, right, let's look up here. What are we left with? One, six and the other number is eight but the eight i don't have any clue on so i'll put the eight there and the missing number here we've got two seven we also need a uh six i think so no not six two seven and three sorry we've got three blocking up here so we'll get threes in those squares there Uh, right, let's come on to this block here then. So uh, one blocks up here like this. So we get one in one in those squares there. Four blocks down here. So we get four in those squares. Uh, six do we have? Six blocking up here. So six like that. And then what do we know about the sevens? Not much, if anything. Uh, okay, I see one eight, one seven, and one seven eight. So three numbers in three squares here. So this seven can be removed. This eight can be removed. And what did I say? One seven eight. This seven can be removed. That will leave us with two three, two three, three nine two nine. Yeah, that looks to be okay. Now we have a pair of three and nine here. So this three is definitely no longer true. And this nine is no longer true. So we end up with a pair of five and seven there, which looks to be okay. Um, I think I should just finish off this block here. Uh, one, two, three, four. How are we doing on the fives? Five blocks across here like this. So fives go there. Sixes. Uh, I don't know much. Sevens. Don't know much. And that's done. Everything should be done from there. Okay, I'm going to click on the digits one by one to try and see if I've not missed 
anything and also help me find some patterns a little easier if pus Okay, we've got five up here, so I've got to remove those candidate fives. So then that gives me the seven, and this would be five. And I should get rid of all of these excess candidate fives now, making it look a lot easier, hopefully. Right, um, and the sevens, then these are not true any longer. That's not true. And up here, we're going to get ourselves a three. So two there, seven there. And we'll get rid of the candidate sevens there. <clears throat> three means that this can't be three. This must be eight. And our three will, in fact, be in that square there. This is a nine. Now three must go here and get rid of those candidate threes that we can't use. We have a two up here, so this is going to be a nine, giving us five in this square, six over here, eight there, seven, nine there. Uh, this is the only spot for a five now. Uh, two must appear in this square here, and this would be a four to finish this block, meaning that this can't be four. We have eight already, so I've got to get rid of those eights in those squares there. Uh, right, okay, we've made a lot of progress there, I think. So let's see what else. I don't actually have any completed digits yet, surprisingly. I've got done a lot, but um, don't have any finished numbers. Well, I do spot a unique rectangle here of six, seven, so I will get rid of the six and the seven from that square there. Uh, we've got six here as well, haven't we? So got to get rid of those sixes. Ah, there we go. Three and seven pair now. So this can't be a seven. It must, in fact, be a six. And we will get ourselves seven there, six there, nine there. And remove candidate nine. Uh, this can't be six or seven. Let's remove those so we end up with a pair of one or five there. Uh, nine is finished, but that's the only number to be finished so far.
these sixes must go and that will give us a one in that square a six up here eight there and I guess we are finished at this point Uh, we have four here now, so we've got to get rid of those candidate fours. This can't be a one now, it must be a five. One is in that square. One is finished. Five means that this must be a two, and our five will appear here. And we're left with three, four. That's a seven, three there, two in that square, four in that square. Ooh, took me a long time, even with the pencil marks. Uh, but I probably took a long time before getting to the pencil marks, uh, which is never good. Uh, right, I'll see you another time, um, maybe tonight, maybe not tonight, maybe tomorrow, I don't know. But whenever, feel free to drop back and uh, enjoy Sudoku. Bye-bye.